It's back to school time again. For the majority of North Carolina students, back to school calls to mind thoughts of homework and assigned seats, bus stops, and first day jitters. Yet for between five and six percent of the student population, the back to school experience is completely different. These students are part of the growing number of homeschooled children across the state. This year marks the 30th anniversary of the North Carolina Supreme Court's decision recognizing the legality of homeschooling as an education alternative. The North Carolina Division of Non-Public Education has been collecting data on the topic ever since, and this data is the subject of this month's Consider It Mapped. The number of homeschools by county across time, in particular, was the perfect subject for this month's map. The Division of Non-Public Education also tracks estimated enrollment numbers dating back to the 1988-1989 school year, the number of religious affiliated and independent homeschools, and even homeschool enrollment by age for more recent years, all of which are included in this month's infographic. There are a few common reasons why parents elect to instruct their children at home, including family religious beliefs that don't align with public school curricula, non-religious concerns about curriculum content such as Common Core, desire for flexibility to offer learning tailored to the student and pace of a child's learning, medical issues such as learning disabilities or severe food allergies, and concerns about school environment such as bullying and overcrowding. The rapidly growing availability of online support and resources for homeschooling also undoubtedly contributes to the increase in enrollment. Examining the data helps us to add another dimension to the ever-growing conversations surrounding homeschools across the state. Do you have something that you'd like to add or something that you'd like to hear more about on the topic? If so, drop us a line at ednc.org.